Hey everybody, so today is the 17th, it's like 30 degrees out here, and I have the heater running, although it's off at the moment because uh, I want to be able to record and have you guys hear me. Um, today I'm going to be working on the rear spar, uh, which is going to be across the back of here, and uh, I'm still trying to maintain like three hours a day, which means sometimes less hours during the week and more hours on the weekend. Uh, being a Sunday, I'm hoping to get three or four hours in out here, but maybe not. You know, Sundays are one of the days that i got to go spend time with family. It's a good thing. Uh, but, uh, yeah, today I'm going to try to put the rear spawn on, get it all done, and uh, then go from there. I know there's a lot of fabrication in this one. I'll try to move the camera around so you can see what I'm doing, but uh, I, I don't know yet. i got to take it one step at a time. Anyways, going to get to it. Yeah, those uh, those noise canceling headphones work really well. <laughs> I couldn't actually hear that the uh, heater had kicked on. Oops. Anyway, uh, so there is a lot of fabrication in this one. I'll be doing some parts later on, uh, and not doing as much of the stuff I had planned to do. I, I just went by the sheet, and I I reported the wrong sheet. So you'll get to see more of that here shortly. Okay, so we're going to trim these guys. These are pretty rough, too. These are going to take a lot of effort. So this is a part of the fabrication. What I'm doing here is I'm going through and I'm taking the brackets that I'm going to be making, and I'm... I'm uh, cutting them so you get four identical pieces but you have to take two of them and kind of cut the nubbin or the stop off of it uh, and then you you clean them up and you build the four pieces from uh, those or the, the four brackets from those pieces uh, pretty cool system that they've got going down and uh, works out nicely Once I get the parts all cleaned up, I'm now going through and deburring them uh, and doing the manual cleaning as opposed to using the bench grinder over there. And believe it or not, it may not look like it, but I'm being careful so as to not stab myself. Uh, then it's a matter of just going through and reading the instructions over and over again, pulling off all the bluing and getting the parts prepared to actually do the final assembly, which includes rivets, which I do all of that here today. Click the W. So this is a little glimpse inside of, uh, you know, exactly how I do things. I, I sit there and I read the instructions over and over again, sort of to myself, and then try to figure out what in the heck I'm reading or what it's saying. Uh, and it, it seems like this happens a lot. Uh, and then I, you know, once I finally figure it out, there's this aha moment. Aha. Uh -huh. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So not that one. I need one that's not trimmed. So these are for later. I don't know why they made me do it now then. So there you go. That's the kind of thing I'm talking about. Just kind of, a, oh yeah, okay, now I get it. Uh, this is a this is one of those pieces where you know there's a there's a piece that goes way down on the end, and there's one that goes in the middle of uh, the wing spar itself. And again, once you get it all assembled and you kind of look at it and go, oh, okay, now I see what they're doing, it all makes perfect sense. But sometimes when, you know, you've got nothing but a bucket of pieces and parts, it doesn't always make sense. Um, I don't know. It's, it's, it's actually interesting to see things come together that way. Anyways, uh, so that's this video. I'm intentionally keeping this video very short uh, because, well... I've got a lot of other footage I wanted to get to, and this was a quick day. Uh, like I said, this was this was only three hours, and this was the 17th. Uh, it is now the 26th, so this should give you some idea of how long it takes sometimes. Uh, and by the way, this was January the 17th when I did this. It is the, you know, 
February 26th that I'm finally getting to it. I am way behind on putting this footage together, and I'm very sorry about that because it's only stacking up, right? It's only getting worse. Now, I was sick for a couple weeks, uh, and I was out of town as well. Those those two things happened at the same time. So was, there was uh, almost a two-and-a-half-week period where I didn't get to go to the hangar at all uh, just due to the sickness and being out of town. So it's it's getting better, I swear. Uh, I'm getting back to it, and uh, I really appreciate you guys sticking around. Anyways, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to ask below, and uh, I'll let me from the past sum up. All right, well, it has been four hours, three hours, three hours, and in three hours I have made four sub-assemblies. Uh, so this is the hinge bracket uh, for both the inboard and air, uh, outboard airlon bracket assembly. And it's a whole bunch of parts that had to be cleaned up and, and put together and riveted and stuff. So there are four of them, and that's all I managed to get accomplished in three hours. Uh, but it's a whole page, so that's something. Uh, baby steps, right? How to eat an elephant one bite at a time. Um, so that's it. I'm done for the day. Uh, it's Sunday, like I said. It's coming up on 4.30. Uh, I'm going to go get some late lunch vittles for the wife and visit with the family and then plug away next week on building more of the airplane. See ya.